America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot him uh, foot Today's video sponsor is GGG Mobile, where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I should give plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As I told you in the previous videos, I was, um, last week I was in vacation and I was out of the country so I couldn't make videos and just when I went to vacations, AMD decided to release the Ryzen 7000 processors they decided to release two driver versions and this all while I was on vacations and when, when I'm here they actually release a driver version every half month and a half and the precise moment I go into vacations they release two driver versions. Anyway, I know the 22.10.1 drivers are already released but still I'm making these ones first of the 22.9.2 and the 22.10.1 will be released some hours after, so that's it. As I say in all my videos, 22 is the year, 2022, 9 is the month, September and 2 is the revision in that same month, so the second revision of September. And with all said and done, let's go to the release notes. So first we have the highlights with support for AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors and support for Grounded. As for the known issues, we have Radeon Super Resolution may fail to trigger after changing resolution or HDR settings on games, such as NIO 2, I say NIO, I believe, I, I don't know it's, if it's NIO, if it's NIO, if it's NIO, I don't really know. NIO Oculus dashboard menu and rendered controllers may appear bouncing slash wobbly on Oculus Quest 2 with some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics. GPU utilization may be stuck at 100% in Radeon performance metrics after closing um, after closing games on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon 570, this is a bug that has been occurring for quite some time and AMD just doesn't fix this. I mean, this is a really, really annoying, bu uh, really annoying bug sorry, that some people has and has been having for lots of time and they just don't fix it and they need to fix it. And even more for the Oculus uh, bouncing slash wobbly effects that shouldn't be happening and are happening. And people with VR headsets actually have to use previous, um, they actually have to use previous drivers because VR isn't working with these ones, which is a bummer. While previewing the timeline in Vegas Pro, some colors may appear inverted. So even though we have new drivers, one of the main issues even more for people working with these drivers um, is that the colors are inverted and it isn't fixed yet. So if you're looking into the professional side of things, I do believe that you should be looking into the, um, the 22.Q.3, I believe, which are the professional drivers, the pro drivers, which are way better in terms of stability and bugs. Display may briefly show corruption when switching between video and game windows on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6700 XT. When vertical refresh sync is set globally to always off, system stuttering or driver timeout may occur during video playback using Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. Users may encounter dropped frames during video playback using hardware acceleration in browsers on Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. So this is a thing that happens with Mozilla Firefox and is a thing that also happens with Google Chrome from what I know from the comments section. But on Opera it doesn't happen. Even though it is based on Chromium, it does not happen on Opera or in Opera, which is strange, but it doesn't. As for the important notes, we have more of the, of the same, nothing relevant, and well, it is what it is, no fixed issues. But what about my experience and some bugs that may happen or not? Okay, as for the 22.9.2 drivers, we have some bugs and some really good things. So, 
One of, the bug, one of the bugs is once again that we need to force start adrenaline. The first time you install the drivers, they won't boot up as they should, so you need to go into the taskbar, search AMD Adrenaline software and run it. After that first time of running the Adrenaline software, it will run flawlessly as it should. This is a problem happening with the 6700, but the 5700 XT is fine somehow, so... Strange. It, it seems that it isn't or it doesn't apply for all GPUs and all systems. Also, we have two things. We have the fixed RPM on the RX 5700 XT. I had a problem with the 5700 XT in previous drivers where um, the RPMs of the fans with my 12600K system weren't counting. So it doesn't it didn't matter the the rpms the rpm counter would always be at zero and with these driver versions the 22.9.2 the driver version i mean it is fixed and now we have proper rpm counting on the software which is a very nice thing okay we also have the vram frequency fixed so the vram frequency is once again as it should low not at the maximum just at low, let's say 100, 200 megahertz at max when you're using your system and not at the maximum, which was, for example, um, 1750 or in my case, 1830 megahertz, okay? It is fixed, two things fixed, which is very nice. Um, and uh, let me see, and yeah, there's, yeah. <laughs> Just to finish this, it is relevant to say that the Warzone stutters mentioned on the previous driver on the notes mentioned that um, they were working with the developers to actually fix those stutters on the RX uh, 6900 XT cards. Well, they aren't on the fixed issues and they aren't anymore on the notes. So now is it fixed or is it not fixed, which is usually the most likely option to happen. Just let me know in the comment section if it is or not, if you have a 6900 XT and if you're having stutters on the Caldera map, just let me know if it keeps happening with the 22.9.2 or not. I really want to know. And well guys, that's all for today's video, thanks a lot for watching. Also, we will have in the end of the video the usual comparisons in between the previous drivers uh, and these ones. Just let me tell you that on this video of the 22.9.1 drivers, the, the 5700 XT was actually losing performance on PUBG, uh, so comparing the 22.8.2 to the 22.9.1, 22.9.1 were actually quite slower by around 20 average FPS, and it seems that on these driver versions, the 22.9.2, we have the performance back once again, so it is, and we have the same performance as the 22.8.2, which is nice to know. And we also have more performance on the RX 6700 on PUBG as well, so that's also good to know. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you in the next video, in some hours.